Okay, let's continue on. In the last video, we found our Maclaurin series expansion for the function the natural log of 1 plus x. Now, in this video, we're going to test the convergence of this to see if it converges for all values of x. And we're going to do that with the ratio test. What you should remember is just we're going to take a value rho, define it as the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a ratio of two terms, one value in the series to the n with the index n plus 1 over the other value in the series with index n. And we know that this will converge when rho is less than 1. So let's just plug it out and see what we get. We can say that rho is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of our uh, series term was the index n plus 1, which is just x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. We don't need to worry about the negative 1 term because we're inside an absolute value. And now we're going to be dividing that by x to the, uh, was the n index, so we can just multiply by the inverse and multiply by n over x to the n. Now let's just simplify this up. We're going to still get the limit as n approaches infinity of n times x over n plus 1. Now let's just divide the numerator and the denominator by n so we can take the limit more easily. We're going to get that rho is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of x over 1 plus 1 over n. Now we can easily take the limit when n goes to infinity. This particular term, 1 over n, will go to 0 which means our entire denominator is just 1 plus 0. So we can say that our rho is equal to the absolute value of x, which means that our series will converge to this particular value, ln of 1 plus x, only when the absolute value of x is less than 1. This is different from what we found before with the exponential case and the sine and cosine case. We found that the series converged for all values of x. Here, it's limited to the particular case when x is between negative 1 and 1. So here we have what I like to call a condition or a criteria for convergence. Now, to really see what the full criteria is, we have to do what we didn't really do in the last few videos, and that is check the endpoints. What actually happens at x is equal to negative 1 and at x is equal to 1? So in order to do that, let's just rewrite our Maclaurin series expansion, ln of 1 plus x is equal to x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus x to the fourth over 4, and so on. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug in x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to 1 and see if the series we're left with will converge or diverge. So. Let's start off with x is equal to negative 1, where you get that the series is negative 1 minus negative 1 squared over 2 plus negative 1 cubed over 3 minus negative 1 to the fourth over 4, and so on. We can simplify this up. We're going to get negative 1. Uh, now, minus negative 1 squared, that's going to be positive, so we're going to get minus 1 half. Then we're going to get negative 1 cubed, that's going to be negative, so minus 1 third, minus 1 fourth, and it goes all the way on, minus 1 fifth, and minus 1 sixth, etc. Now, if we factor out a negative 1, you should hopefully see something interesting. We're going to factor out negative 1, we're going to get 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth, etc. This is a fairly uh, common or well-known series. It's the harmonic series. And although I don't really want to show it here, uh, you should hopefully remember that the harmonic series will diverge. It will go to infinity, albeit very slowly which means that uh, when we have the negative harmonic series, it'll still diverge, this time to negative infinity, which means that x cannot be equal to negative 1, because if it diverges, we know it won't converge to our the value of our function, 
natural log of 1 plus x. So now let's see if uh, the series will converge or diverge at the other endpoint, x is equal to 1. So if we do that out, we're going to, let's say x is equal to 1, we're going to get that that's e our series is going to become 1 minus x1 squared, which is just 1 over 2, plus 1 third minus 1 fourth, and the sign is going to alternate, so plus 1 fifth minus 1 sixth, etc. Now, you should, hope, you should hopefully recognize this as the alternating harmonic series. It's basically the harmonic series, but the sign switches every time. Unlike before, though, the alternating harmonic series will converge, which means that our series term does still converge to our function at x is equal to 1. So overall, what we can say is that uh, let me just rewrite it down here. We can say that, uh, let's change up the colors, the natural log of 1 plus x has the Maclaurin series expansion, the sum is from 1 to infinity, of negative 1 to the n plus 1 times x to the n all over n, and this only holds true when x is greater than negative 1, but x is less than or equal to 1. So here we have Maclaurin series and the particular requirements for convergence. Now let's get, just actually take a look at this graphically. So I'm going to pull up this graphing program. Here we have the natural log of 1 plus x. Notice that equals 0 and x is equal to 0, and it goes down to negative infinity at x is equal to negative 1. Now, I wrote out our nice series expansion right here, so let's see what, our, what happens when we only have one term in our approximation. We get that that's equal to, there we go. Here's our first order approximation. Now we can add more terms to it. So what happens if we have three terms in our approximation? We mimic the function nicely about this region right here. If we have five terms, we mimic it more closely about that region. Now let's see what happens when we have ten terms. Here it mimics it really nice around from this point on, this point on, this point on, then it kind of drops off. So let's see what happens when we have twenty terms now. Now we mimic the function really well in this region from negative one to one. But it, notice after one, it just drops off entirely. This is a terrible approximation of what's up here. And the more terms we add, let's say we have 40 terms, we get the same thing. We get a really good approximation from this region of negative one to one, but immediately after it just drops off and uh, doesn't approximate that well at all. We can, we can see here graphically what we've shown like before, that this series approximation of our function, the ln, uh, natural log of 1 plus x, only really holds from uh, when x is greater than negative 1 to x is equal to or less than 1. And if you notice, now that we can see it graphically, we can see why uh, the series doesn't hold that x is equal to negative 1, because the function doesn't really re uh, equal anything. It approaches negative infinity which we know means doesn't converge. So there we have it. We have our Maclaurin series approximation with the uh, appropriate uh, requirements for conversions. We're going to take a look at one more Maclaurin series expansion in the next video.